Hey, what's up, everybody? On deck with Third Eye Cam. Today's date, uh, March 6, 2021. The time is 10.45 in the morning. I just stepped outside for the day. Um, new day for me. I finally got some good sleep. These uh, asteroids and planets crossing over have kept me up. Just trying to chase the sky. Um, woke up to a planet passing over our head. Let me give you a quick look at it. Yeah, I see some more back in the west kind of approaching. So, it's going to be one of those basic, but, you know, good days. Alright, let, let's get to it. So, right here, that's my east. There's our planet. The reason why I know it's a planet, look at the tails uh, sweeping around it below the sun. And then back this way, like the the dragon with the tail they always talk about. And then that's my west. We got a planetoid approaching here, right above that tree to the left. They mm -hmm. highlight it should be able to see it, but that's definitely a plan of approaching. Um, of course, I'm going to move around so y'all can see it better. There's a planetoid right there. One is ahead of it, the big one. I'm trying to move like towards the curve so you can see the tail of it. These things are so beautiful. Like, I don't think I'd ever want to see a sky without them now. But there's a chemtrailer. Supersonic. Just came into view, so he's doing his, his job. And um, there is one right here. Yep, I can see it. Only a portion of it gets lit up by the sun. The rest is always in the dark. Uh, let me help you all out. That's it. That is the whole thing. And you can see the dark side. The cloud going across the end and the other side. It's starting to come into fruition. I guess they're moving so fast that as they move, the light shows up. And there's a crow, raven, flying right across it. <laughs> All right, um, there's the sun. Look around the sun. The sun's, the sun's got a little bit of action around it. But for the most part, our planet is over that way. Uh, past the treetops. There's one right here and one right here. And you can tell where the skies change color. See, there's my heavenly blue. There's our sky blue, and there's our interference where the clouds are overlaying out in space. All right, yeah, and my planet that I told you about is coming into more fruition, so it's um all up in here. All right, we'll be back. Poof. All right, I'm back. More of my planet showing up. That's the same one that was over here in the west, uh, and there's another one showing up behind it there at the treetop. My highlight so that you can see the details in them. There's one right there. Front side, dark side lit up by the sun. Let me back it out. And another one behind it. Looks like two. Got my shades on. I can't really focus. Oh, there it is. You know, I was too high. No, that's another one. Okay, so, okay. One. Shit. One there, one there, and one there. And another one right there. So that's four in a group. One, two, three, four, five in the group. There's one, let me back it up, this is crazy. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And the other one is way up here. And you can see the contrails all around them. That's outside of them, where the trail path. We'll call it their trail path. The path that they're in. And that's the path created by this long one. This big one in the front. And there's a host of debris all within but my head. Alright, so I'm gonna get moving so we can get on this. We'll be back. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna see something else. But we'll be back. Alright, we're back. Same date, the time is 11.03. I'm gonna show you these planets real quick. I'm in the in my open spot. Uh you can see them right here behind my head. That's coming from the west. You can see my big one going to the east over the Atlantic. So let us get to it. So there's my ones in the west that I just pointed out to you earlier. I had to get past those buildings. Oh, there's a lot of them coming up, even more. So there's one right here. I can't see what the shades on. One right here, one right here, here, here. Uh, not there, let me see. 
they, they kind of buffering in and out. Definitely one right there. Front side, dark side. Front side, dark side too. Uh, and that's probably a smaller asteroid. Big one right here, planetoid. I see the, the uh, lateral bands on it. Um, one up here. You can see the way the, the twirling. That way you can see the way the trail is venting off of it. This one. And the other one is kind of here, way in the back. That one has a twirl to it, so that's, that one's turning this way. This one. So it's got a little tail on it. I'm going to zoom in for you. Let me highlight. I can't see that. So where are you? Okay, there's the one with the lateral bands I was saying about, the one above it. This one has a twirl on it. See the little long tail that's coming from behind it? So it's turning uh, clockwise, counterclockwise, I'm sorry, in declaration to the sun. And it's leaving that trail extending behind it as it turns in the sky. I'm pretty sure there's a big one over me I can't see because it's so grand, but these little ones I can see. I think there is one right here also. Kind of hard to tell. In the dark side of it. And like I said, the one that's always preceding it. Like, I don't know their formations. I know I got the names down thanks to uh, Sam Hoffman, that research. But I don't know which one is exactly they are, but my other one is sitting all right here. This whole deal. This is the side of it. Lit up by the sun. Dark side. The lights reaching around it. You can see where it's pinching onto the, that cloud. It's pressing up upon some kind of atmosphere. It's venting off its own little atmosphere, atmosphere and it's pushing this trail back here and all the way back here. And I see a little biplane. He's he's been circling, so I think he's out getting pictures. Let me see if make sure. Where's that guy? Right there above. Uh, there he is. I've been watching this guy circle since I walked out. Pretty sure he's up there getting pictures. I would be if I had that piece of machinery at my disposal. Alright, so I'm going to move on. Um, kind of keep my eye on this. And we will be back. Poof. Alright, real quick. Same date time as 11.26. Got a moon right there. Real small. Center. Alright. Alright, we got a plan toward right here. More planets heading south. Got a stretch over there. Over to the west. See the sun. Planetoids and asteroids. That's a moon one. It's not an Earth cloud. All right, back with the dot cam, same date, the time is 12.13, and uh, I'm up in Richmond at the mall. This is a good open area for me to come survey, and uh, we got a trail cloud here going from, what is that, uh, north to east, yeah, there it is, actually from west to east. Um, we got a planetoid right here, we got a chemtrail flying up on it, he actually just showed up, let me highlight it. Where is it? So this is the bottom of the planetoid. That's the top. And this route there is really faded. And the chemtrailer. I can never see that guy. I guess my camera's trying to focus on whatever. He's somewhere. Alright, back real quick. Um, I got a phone call that kind of interrupted me. So we got a planetoid way back here. Um, it's starting to come into fruition actually. So let me highlight it. Uh, there, right above the treetops. Actually, yes, yeah, it's, it's actually that whole thing. I can't see it, it's so faded. And it's got a moon following it. There's a chemtrailer that was all over it, passed through. And he's headed towards this cloud right here. Um, out this way, we got more deals. Uh, Emmanuel the Key sent me some pictures of down in North Carolina. He's seeing some asteroids fly by, and that's in that direction. So I think I'm picking up. The asteroids that flew over you are somewhere in this area. Let me see if I'm here. You're about in this area to me. So those planets, those actual planetoids are actually flying to the lower part of uh, America right now. So he's catching a lot of the asteroids. And I still got clear skies uh, where I am. 
Like I said, we got some earth clouds scattered in. Earth cloud. I'm not gonna show them all. Earth cloud. Try to get it above the bookstore where I'm going. Earth cloud. That's the store I'm going to. Big up Barnes and Nobles. I'm trying to get them all in. And we got my big drifter cloud over here, which is more than likely uh, a planetoid. It might be back this way. I'm looking at the, this pattern. They're buffering up back towards the east, so that means the anomaly is pushing west. Um, see some earth clouds below it. So what I'll be doing is looking for unusual uh, atmospherical anomalies, so that way I can uh, better see what's uh, inbound from these planetoids. I see one right here. It's kind of scattered, so I got a chemtrailer right here. Should be able to see them. I can't see. I got these shades on and everything is dark. I'll tell you, when I'm outside, this, this, uh, can't really see my screen, so I have to shoot. Got one over here, um, past this. Yeah, above this, above this, um, antenna. Got a planet right here. Let's see if I can highlight it. Might be kind of hard to see right there. Um, I think I got one slightly above my head. Definitely got some planets inbound from the southern uh, part of the uh, hemisphere. And we got a chemtrailer right here coming from south, uh, from North Carolina. Military new aircraft, that's a, that's a regular Airbus. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna jump off this, all right? So we'll be back. All right, I'm back. From here, uh, we got some planets showing up from the south. They're starting to come really into fruition. Um, I see uh, anom anomaly right here, and the tail of it is drifting all the way back across the sun. And I said, "There's my other one." I would really like to know what this one is and from where it's coming. I can't really see it, but I think, by the way, the formation of those clouds are pluming out. That the head of it is down south and is coming up north, so we're probably going to end up seeing it today. And looking at the way the plume goes from narrow to wide. Uh, it's already plumed out here, past here, and it's narrow because it's coming out of wherever it is down there. Oh, I see a Saturn looking planet. Look at that. Let me highlight it. That right there. Those, those are not clouds. See the top of it right there, and then the, the span of it, the ring of it right there. I'm gonna come back and check out on that one. We'll be back. All right, I'm just taking another look past the trees. I don't know why this um, planetoid looks like a Saturn type. See the top of it where the sun is hitting it, and then you see the ring expanding out around it. Outstanding. Yeah, that's a planetoid. Look at how it's uh, it's got a ring around it. That's cool. Looks like a Saturn. Do you see it? It's right above those tree tops, and it's still holding structure. That's nice. All right, so that's down towards North Carolina. Me and Emmanuel, the kid trading pictures right now. I just sent this action to him. The reason why I'm referencing him, because I'm straight like that. I like the, I like crop participation and the fact that he and I send pictures back and forth to each other. And I'm showing him the Saturn looking planet. See if I can get in there without it being blurry. And, and people won't see this because they don't know what they're looking for. Again, we got my other planetoid right here approaching. Got its tail coming across the sun. But definitely now it's coming to fruition. So it's got an earth cloud beside it to the left. And then, uh, no, this camera irks me. I'm trying to get in close and I can't get a closer shot because it wants to blur out. Maybe I have to wait for it. It's trying to see the, the, it's trying to distance between the trees, the earth cloud, and the Saturn planet. All right, so you can see it right there one side being lit up. You can see the ring coming off the back of it. That's hot. And again, my cloud tail. So it's a lot indeed coming, getting ready to come up and there's another planetoid right here. These things like move fast and they shoot all over the place. I like it. I like the fact that we are having planetoids fly by. Um, other than just Mars sitting way out in the deep and Jupiter and Saturn and you know all the other planets we're actually seeing what I would consider I'll call it heaven 
this is the coming of God. <laughs> I know a lot of people are like, you can't say that. Uh, no, nah, I'm going to say it because I feel it. And it's holding structure. That's why I keep coming back and forth to it every few minutes. Let me get that other chaos out. It's blurring up my camera. So, it's right there. All right. All right, I'm back. Uh, right. Same date, the time is 12.30. So I'm just gonna continue to keep an eye on it as it's approaching. Uh, and it's still got holding structure. Still holding structure to the right of that earth cloud. As it matures, I'm show, uh, sending pictures to Emmanuel, the key. And uh, we're just going back and forth. We do this a lot. He's basically family. <laughs> Emmanuel's family. That's my brother. Uh, so we trade a lot of pictures and like I know a lot of you send me stuff. I I really appreciate y'all and I um, apologize because I literally go from work to sleep then I wake up and start doing this and I, I get so astounded that I don't slow down to jump on my computer and I'm trying to make new instrumentals for you know the show so I'm always quite busy. All right, we'll be back. All right, we're back. Um, it's 12:35. You can see it maturing out. It looks kind of stout too. Um, so it's right here to the right of this um, earth cloud. It's just earth cloud will get out the way. I'm gonna just have to leave it right here. So it's got an angle to it. It's stout and it's got a lot of debris coming up behind it. You can definitely see the terminator line between what the sun is hitting. Oh, I'm sorry. Between what the sun is hitting and uh, where the shadowing is. And like I said, there's an earth cloud. And you got right here, another one, planet, bigger planetoid right here. That's the one with the tail coming up under the sun. But this is my main focus. I've never really, it's been a while since I've seen something like this. And like I said, it's holding structure. So you can see the shadowing on it. If I can get in closer without my camera fuzzing up, that's what, you know, what makes this hard. All right, we're back. I had some people asking questions, 1239. Um, that and we got uh my planetoid passing up under the sun actually chemtrails just shot through but uh it's on the way from there 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 it is actually right there you see where the light is tracing around it in the cloudage and it's in its path uh it's got a little asteroid falling by a bunch of them right below the sun you get the sun out of there there it is so there's my my planetoid right there central 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 i'm trying to keep the sun out and then there's my asteroid coming up that looked like Saturn. There it is, it's starting to separate from the Earth cloud. It's starting to separate from the Earth cloud. So we're seeing, uh, still you can see the ring of it there where the, the, the Earth clouds are shadowing it out. But you can actually make up the bright side and terminate it hitting the dark side of it. And like I said, you can see the tail swinging around with debris following. All right, we're back. Um, just want to get another look at um, my uh, tail cloud that's wisping from the, the uh, western part and you can see the earth clouds forming up right there one right there one right there to the left and one in the below one above that uh, hotel that La Quinta La Quinta um, I think I'm seeing a planetoid somewhere here it might be an asteroid I think a lot of these uh, anomalies line up one behind the other kind of kind of do the gravity and electromagnetics they all form that long line. Now that Saturn looking when I was filming right by the pole. I'm waiting for that earth cloud to get out of the way. It's really screwing with my focus ability. Um, I can see it's falling behind a planet now. So, earth cloud, where's my Saturn looking planetoid? It's kind of, yeah, it's getting screwed off. So I can't even zoom in on it. Anyway, it's falling behind another planetoid. I can see it approaching. It's got a chemtrail passing across it. And it's got that little Saturn looking deal coming up from behind it. And that's what I couldn't see earlier. And then we got my asteroids coming up right here. Asteroid there, asteroid there. Remnants of what my planets were that passed through earlier right here. I think that's right, yeah, it looks like it. All right, we'll be back. 